get ready. Hello, and welcome to the Ident Review, the show where we have a good look and chat about the various television idents that we have come to know and love over the years. And for this instalment, we take a look back at a series of idents from the ITV Creates Initiative, this time from the month of May. So five months into the concept, ITV Creates has truly given us so many different, varied and ultimately unique ident concepts that really impress and stand out in the viewing eye. We've got five different sets to look at today, so let's jump right into our first one, designed by resident artist Caroline Wright. Good morning from us all here at ITV. And as a new week dawns, we've another fresh look for you with resident artist Caroline Wright taking on the challenge. To find out more, search ITV Creates for all the details. Now though, it's time for your Mondays. Good morning, Britain. Georgia prepares to finally learn the truth about what really happened, but is she ready for what she might find? The Widow continues tonight at nine. But now we're live with Philip and Holly to kickstart the week on This Morning. It looks like Georgia's getting closer to the truth, but will she be ready for what she might find? Our gripping thriller, The Widow, continues tonight at nine. But now time to join the ladies live for your Mondays, Loose Women. Now armed with a gavel and his razor-sharp wits, the king of the courtroom is ready to deal with more disagreements in today's Judge Rinder. Toya points the finger at Nick when Coronation Street's here at 7.30. First though on ITV, Kim's delighted by a new development. Here's Emma Dale. Well, that's a satisfying way to start the episode. Whilst when watching these at first, it could be argued that there really isn't that much to rave about, and design-wise it's extremely simplistic, just consisting to tubes moulded to the ITV logo, with then coloured liquid being applied to give the whole thing a bit more colour in general. But where I think this succeeds is how satisfying it is to watch in process. Seriously, it's like one of those compilations of things that are satisfying to view, really calming and quite relaxing. There's a few brief shots amongst the different variants that imply or even show different colours besides the red, yellow and blue that we predominantly see, and I wish with each of the five variants, maybe different colours could have been selected, or maybe even different colours all mixed together, but in all fairness, this for all its simplicity is a nice way to kick off the month. Let's see what our next resident artist came up with, so here is the work of Rubina Arangzeb Tarek. Well, good morning to you all, and thanks for joining us this Bank Holiday Monday. And as a new week dawns, we've another fresh new look for you from our resident artist, Rubina Orangzeb Tarik, taking on the challenge. To find out more, search ITV Creates for all the details. Now, let's get the week off to a great start as we join all the gang on Good Morning Britain. They're back to raise awareness for such an amazing cause by taking all their clothes off. The all-new Monty Who Bears wins here on ITV tonight at 9. But now, this Bank Holiday Monday, we're live with Rochelle and Eamon for this morning. Another group of male celebrities are put through their paces in the all-new Monty Who Bears wins tonight at 9 o'clock. Such a great cause. But now on ITV, we're live with the Loose Women. Find out if the people of Blackburn take the cash on the table or gamble at the auction in Dickinson's Real Deal this afternoon at 3. The courtroom's where we're heading now, though, for today's Judge Rinder. 
Wearing nothing but their hearts on their sleeves, we've Alexander Armstrong, Love Island winner Jack Fincham and a host of stars as you've never seen them before. The all-new Monty is tonight at nine. Now on ITV, Revelations in Emmerdale. Certainly a very poignant set of idents. Now these were cleverly designed and broadcast on what is known as Deaf Awareness Week. So instead of the standard ITV logo, instead we have three sets of hands, all forming each corresponding letter. Such a simple and to the point way of supporting deaf awareness without necessarily needing to go all out guns blazing. I also adore the colour scheme on these variants. The different shades of blue and purple correspond with each other so nicely that it almost makes you think you could take these idents and frame them on your wall. Again, like the previous set we saw, it's quite simple, but as I said, for the purpose it's promoting, I think it works beautifully. So massive props to both Rubina and ITV for promoting a great cause like this. Moving on now, let's see what we have next with resident artist, Liz West. Good morning and welcome to a brand new week where we have another fresh look for you on ITV with resident artist Liz West taking on the challenge. If you want to find out more, just search ITV Creates for all the details. Now though, it's the morning after the night before with all the BAFTA gossip and of course the latest news and entertainment. It's 6am and time to say... Good morning, Britain. Looking at life inside Buckingham Palace during her reign, we documentary Victoria's Palace for you tonight at nine. Over to Philip and Holly now for your Mondays this morning. We've documentary Victoria's Palace for you tonight at nine. But now, time to catch up with the Loose Women. It's their day in court now, but will they be happy with the ruling? It's Judge Rinder. Time to head to the Dales now on ITV as Belle prepares for a party. And we've seen some viewers may find distressing now. Here's Emma Dale. Okay, this is definitely my favourite of the month so far. There is so much to like about this creation. First off, I absolutely love the design that Liz has gone for. All of these shiny coloured circles pop right off the screen and actually remind me or make me think of an album cover that an act like the Pet Shop Boys may dream up. Secondly, I think out of all the idents we've had so far as part of ITV Creates, I think this is one, if not the best one, that showcases the creation of the sequence itself. To see glimpses of how Liz put together these idents is truly fascinating, and to see it all pay off and play out is another satisfying watch. So to take simplicity, add tons of colour, and to show us how it's all done definitely has this set in particular as my favourite of the month, and one of my favourites of the whole year so far. If you love it like I do, then do remember to check out ITV's own video, which shows the behind the scenes of not just Liz's work, but of all the artists of ITV Creates. Right then, moving forwards, let's take a look at our next set of idents designed by resident artist Gail Chong Kwan. Good morning. As a new week dawns, we have another fresh look on ITV with resident artist Gail Chong Kwan taking on the challenge. To find out more, search ITV Creates for all the details. Now though, let's kickstart your Monday with Good Morning Britain. After winning screenwriter Jeff Pope tells the story of Hatton Garden, the crime of the decade over four nights, starting tonight, set a reminder for nine. And we're live from Television Centre now on ITV with Holly and Phil for Mondays this morning. David enlists Ryan's help and Jacob makes a discovery in the little village with big drama at seven tonight at Semmerdale. Now on ITV, I'm sure the ladies will have something to say about Eurovision and ahead of our new drama Hatton Garden launching tonight at nine, Ross Kemp joins Mondays. Loose Women. BAFTA winning screenwriter Jeff Pope tells the story of Hatton Garden, the crime of the decade across four nights. It stars Timothy Spall and Kenneth Cranham and it kicks off tonight at nine. Now on ITV, we're off to court for Judge Rinder. Steve's got some explaining to do tonight as we head to Coronation Street at 7.30 and 8.30. Now though, it's Emmerdale. 
Simplicity is definitely running strong throughout the month of May. Gail's work here takes a lot of plastic bottles, essentially a lot of our waste that we throw out, and instead turning it into a huge ITV logo sculpture. It's certainly impressive to see how it's all been placed together, and to observe all the different details and intricacies of each bottle. But for me, I'm not sure there just seems to be something a little lacking across this one. It's not terrible, not at all, but for me it really lacks that gut punch in Ident can need to really hook viewers and to install something that will be remembered. The concept and the design is wonderful, for sure, and the meaning behind it is brilliant, but in terms of an actual sequence, it all just feels a little underwhelming. But of course, that is just my opinion, as I'm sure there'll be loads of you who love this. Now, however, we shall move forward to our final Ident set of the day, created by resident artist Florence Mitem. Good morning and welcome to ITV. And as a new week dawns, we've another fresh look with our resident artist this week, Florence Mitem, taking on the challenge. To find out more, search ITV Creates for all the details. Now though, time to kickstart your bank holiday Monday with Good Morning Britain. Well, they came in their thousands to audition, but now we're down to the final 40 acts and it gets serious tonight as the live shows get underway on Britain's Got Talent. It all starts here on ITV at 7.30. Now though, here's Ruth and Eamon with This Morning. Well, it all gets serious tonight when the first eight acts perform live for the first time in the first semi-final of Britain's Got Talent here on ITV at 7.30. Time now for your Mondays, Loose Women. Now this Monday lunchtime, a look at the stories making the headlines with the very latest ITV News. Now on ITV here to deal with more disagreements, it's our very own king of the courtroom, Judge Rinder. Fair to say if you don't like the colour green, then you won't like this set. I however quite like the abundance of the colour green here. Not only do the different shades complement the whole set very nicely, but I like how each different letter of the ITV logo has been built in a completely unique way. With all of the individual materials and arrangements, it's honestly something I could see at home in some sort of grand art exhibition. Not necessarily one of the most groundbreaking or even most standout idents of ITV creates in my opinion, but I can certainly see how it would nab people's attention, and I'm sure there will be some viewers who will remember this one for years to come. So in terms of closing the month of May, I think Florence's work is striking, memorable and ultimately unique, just like the whole purpose of ITV Creates set out to be. Overall, ITV Creates throughout May has gone for simplistic concepts, often executed in brilliant, subtle and powerful ways. From a set promoting deaf awareness, to an array of colourful circles, to showing how our wasted plastic can be used, or showing how water and liquidised colour meld together, and of course a love letter to the colour green. Each of these different sets has had a unique quality about them, and at the end of the day, as I said before, that's exactly what ITV Creates is all about. Letting individual artists show off their unique talents, ideas, and their imaginations. And so, we've come to the end, but before we go, the final words from our broadcaster. That was all this week for this instalment of the Ident Review. I hope you all enjoyed watching it, and we hope that you tune in next week. Be sure to check out episodes of The Now Review, which are broadcast every Tuesday evening at 8pm. But until then, have a good week, and we hope that you join us again soon. Good night.